क्वेश्चन फाइव ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज इफ द पॉलिनोमियल दिस फोर्थ डिग्री पॉलिनोमियल इज डिवाइडेड बाय अनदर पॉलिनोमियल एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस के विच इज अ कॉड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल द रिमेंडर कम्स आउट टू एक्स प्लस ए फाइंड के एंड ए सो वी आर गिवन अ फोर्थ डिग्री पॉलिनोमियल एंड दिस पॉलिनोमियल इज डिवाइडेड बाय अ कॉड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल इन विच वन ऑफ द कोफिशेंट इज अनोन द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज के and the remainder comes out to be x plus a where a is also an unknown number and we have to find both the unknowns k and a so what approach what reasoning can we use to solve this problem well what we can do is we can use long division to divide this fourth degree polynomial by this quadratic polynomial we can find out the remainder and match the remainder to x plus a and from there we can figure out the values of k and a so let's do that let's apply long division to this dividend polynomial the fourth degree polynomial and the divisor polynomial being this uh, quadratic polynomial so first let's write the divisor so the divisor is x square minus 2x plus k and then we write the dividend so the dividend is x to the 4 minus 6x cube plus 16x square Minus twenty five x plus ten. Now let's apply the long division process. So in the first step, we have to turn x square into x to the four. So we will use the multiplier x square, and this multiplier generates the terms x to the four minus two x cube plus k x square. Now we subtract uh, this from the dividend, and then we will get minus four x cube. and now we have 16x square minus kx square so that will be 16 minus k times x square and then we bring down the remaining terms so we have minus 25x plus 10 now in the next step we have to turn x square into minus 4x cube so we will use the multiplier minus 4x and this generates the terms minus 4x cube Plus eight x square this time because you have minus two x into minus four x so that's plus eight x square, and then we have minus four k x because we have k times minus four x. Now we subtract uh, the terms and we will get uh, minus four x cube minus four x cube cancels out. We have sixteen minus k x square minus eight x square, so that will be eight minus k times x square. so this is the quadratic term then we have minus 25x minus minus 4kx so that will be 4k minus 25x and then we have the constant term plus 10 now in the last step uh we need to turn x square into x square into 8 minus k x square so we will use the multiplier um 8 minus k so 8 minus k and with this multiplier we generate the terms 8 minus k x square and then the linear term will be minus 2x times 8 minus k so that will be 2k minus 16 so 2k minus 16 times x and then we'll have the constant term k into 8 minus k that will be um k times 8 minus k let's write it like this and now when we subtract the terms what are we left with so the quadratic terms cancel out and for the linear terms we have 4k minus 25 minus 2k minus 16x so this will be 2k minus 9x so this is the linear term and then we'll have 10 minus k into 8 minus k so this will be 10 minus 8k plus k square so this is now a linear polynomial which is which has a degree lower than the divisor which is a quadratic so the division process terminates at this stage so the remainder is uh, a linear polynomial where the linear term is 2k minus 9 times x and the constant term is 10 minus 8k plus k square this should match the remainder given to us which is x plus a so the remainder given to us is x plus a so now if we match the terms what do we get we get 2k minus 
should be equal to 1 the coefficient of x in the actual remainder given and this gives us 2k is equal to 10 or k is equal to 5 so we get k is equal to 5 and then matching the constant terms we have 10 minus 8k plus k square is equal to a so if we substitute k is equal to 5 we get 10 minus 8 into 5 is 40 and then k square is 25 this is equal to a so a is equal to 10 plus 25 that's 35 minus 40 that's minus 5 so we also find the value of a so to summarize the answer to this question is k is equal to 5 and a is equal to minus 5 and the way we found these values was we used long division to divide the fourth degree polynomial by the second degree polynomial given to us and the remainder that we got we matched it with the remainder given to us in the question which was x plus a and that enabled us to find both k and a with that we complete question 5 of this exercise to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers